Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. I want to do a second week of Debian. Uh, this time we have installed Debian on a actual drive rather than in a virtual box. The downside of this is I cannot go in and, and show you logging in and logging out to uh, with different users on different uh, desktop environments. Um, but uh, I am fully ready to say that the problems I had on last week's video were due to the fact that we were running it in a virtual box and actually I think it had more to do with the guest editions. Um, it, it seemed to me like um, it started to act act up once I installed the guest editions. So something in the guest editions in VirtualBox is what broke Debian 9. Uh, if you are using um, if you are using this in a um, uh, in a virtual box setting, and it seemed to really seriously only impact um, only really seriously impacted um, uh, the KDE desktop environment. The Mate was always solid even in the virtual box. The cinnamon was a little sluggish. So here I've installed it and uh, I've changed around some settings to get myself uh, a desktop that looks pretty cool. And uh, what we did here is uh, I installed GUVC view so I can put my camera up there in the corner. And then I installed Simple Screen Recorder so I can simply do a, a quick screen share. So what I'm going to do here is uh, just show you that everything works. Uh, this is, again, not a review. This is just, you know, things work. What I want to do with the system um, is I'll go through and I'm going to delete things that I don't need um, and uh, just kind of short up like, uh, I don't know, I'll probably keep Rosario because there is a CD drive on this. But I hate Dragon Player. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I like the video system, uh, rhythm box, and maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. So I'm going to go through and uh, and just change some things up. A few things that I did notice, um, you'll see here that my it's probably just due to the due to the theme that I have selected here where it's dark, but my text boxes are are dark with dark text by default, and so uh, that was a little bit difficult to read on on the Mate. Um, again, refer to my uh, my previous video where you'll see the Mate was working was working just fine. Um, but uh, overall, I I did successfully install Debian nine the same exact way. I installed this the ex same exact way as I did on the virtual box. It just seems that the virtual box guest editions did break it. So if you are running Debian nine on uh, virtual box. Um, and it's not working for you, that might be a reason is the guest editions. So something to keep in mind. Um, but I installed this on a extra USB drive I have laying around. This is a uh, 32 gigabyte uh, USB 3 drive. And I installed uh, Debian, just basic default with um, Cinnamon, Mate, and KDE. And I went through and all of the desktop environments are now working just fine. Um, just a brief note, this video is going to be extremely short, probably fairly useless. I'm just showing you that everything works uh, as a follow-up to last week's video. It's extremely light here right now, and uh, I just had so many other things that I needed to do. So I'm going to uh, log out of here and join you again with KDE running next time. And we're back, joined by a kitty. Well, joined with a kitty, I don't know. Joined to a kitty? Basket case. Um, so here we are running KDE. Um, again, this, you know, I, I, of course, themed it up a little bit different. One of the things I like about KDE is you can run the Windows uh, borderless if you want. I did notice a small problem that you'll see some of the small text over here. Um, there, there, and under, you know, under each of these categories. Occasionally on this, it is, um, it is not rendering correctly. I'm wondering if that might have more to do with the graphics card. Um, I'm running a, uh, this computer has a, an AMD, um, it's an AMD, I think it's an R, oh, I forget now. I forget what graphics card I put in here. It's an AMD R7, I forget which one, four gigabytes of RAM. Um, and I know that when I boot this into Cinnamon, it actually maintains being in software rendering mode. And I'm not sure why, probably because the drivers, um, if I installed different drivers, it might work a little bit better. I'm thinking that that might be the thing that gives me a little bit of, of that. Of course, I added some, some widgets over here. Uh, um, I added some, um, uh, the weather, the, uh, calendar, and you can see the system load here. So... 
thinking the system load, I mean, I'm not sure if this is system load is heavy because I'm recording video or if the system load is heavy because um, of KDE, I'm not sure. Um, but regardless, uh, here is this, and I think somebody asked at one point in time what uh, KDE this was running. So we'll go ahead and have a look. Uh, Plasma version 5.8.6. You can see all the specs right there. All right, so it is running. It is running fairly smooth. Um, this is uh, this is one of my favorite themes. I have a, a nice, you know, better looking theme over here on this desktop that's out of view. But here you can see that everything is is working. This is the default menu uh, again on KDE. Uh, you do have alternatives to your menus that you can pick. So you can go with the dashboard, the launcher, or the application menu. Um, this one here is actually the one I like. It's just because if I'm going to go with a uh, if I'm going to go with a desktop that is uh, that is this advanced, I really like how uh, how this one interacts. I like the the structure. It's it's different. It's much more modern. It's not quite like uh, you know the cinnamon menu does look a little dated in that respect. This one here looks quite a bit more modern. I like them both. Um, but uh, let me show you the other other alternatives that you have. Um, so the application menu, just hit the switch there, and looks like it does remap the uh, Windows Meta key to boot this up. So this guy here is is more of your your more traditional menu, which is still pretty cool. I like this one, um, not as much as I like the other one. And of course, the other one is the dashboard. And whenever I run the dashboard warning, it kills my camera. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and run this and see what it does, and it might kill my camera up there. Well. Probably just leave it off for now because um, if it does that so run this guy here um, you'll see that we do not have the transparency uh, that is telling me that that there is something uh, something going on with the drivers oh good my camera's still there um, so that is uh, that is uh, some functionality there let's see I'm gonna go back to the um, application launcher which is my preferred if i'm going to keep this one around this is the uh, this is the general build i like to have of course i put my minimize all windows here um, i didn't show any icons on the desktop or anything i can do that but you know here is just showing that in in debian i have mate i have kde and i have uh, cinnamon running uh, in you know on the same computer on the same account uh, a lot of people gave me some interesting thoughts and suggestions some people said you know if you're gonna run different desktop environments do it under different user accounts um, this is actually all the same user accounts um, I would have to use this for a month or so like this rotating in between accounts to see if there's any any real negative to this or positive to this I know some people would would run multiple different desktop environments for a teaching scenario where you wanted to show somebody how different uh, different applications work um, you know in which case you might run a, a gnome and um, you know maybe a gnome and a KDE were were common um, to run concurrently um, but you know this is uh, this is a system worked. Um, also of nice note that I was easily able to add the simple screen recorder right out of the repository, so I did not have to add the PPAs um, like you have done in the past. And you can easily customize the the KDE desktop there. So that's kind of that's kind of that. So we're gonna jump over and have a quick look at the Cinnamon. And here we are on Cinnamon again. I changed the desktop background and. Um, I did still get the notice that it is running in software rendering mode, so um, we should get uh, probably get a little bit uh, lower system performance than I ordinarily would. But let me just have a look. Um, so yeah, Cinnamon's using the most amount of memory, uh, about 300 300k there. Um, but you know, you can see here it is it is still pretty jumpy. Some people say that cinnamon uh, cinnamon is a little bit uh, a little bit jumpy, and that's uh, I left had a comment left on my uh, uh, one of my videos today, and I have not noticed any issues. But I think that that cinnamon generally tends to work best if you're using it with uh, with Linux Mint. I, but I don't have a lot of experience with it in in other distros, so I'm not sure. Um, but you know, I really liked it, and I'm used to the cinnamon menu. I like how the format of this looks and how the the customizability is. Of course, if you don't like this menu, there is uh, an advanced cinnamon menu as well uh, that you can install. 
um, just by coming down here to your panels and add applets to the panel and then there's actually a, um, a customizable menu. Um, you might have to install it. Yeah, I think you actually have to install it. But that will give you the ability to do, um, so there's this custom cinnamon menu. To install that. Okay, add that to the panel. So you'll see that that added to the to the panel down here. So this one here, it starts out looking the same, but the difference is if you come over and have a look at the options you have. So here's your basic cinnamon menu on the left, and here's your custom cinnamon menu on the right. So you can do a whole lot more different things to this menu over here than you can on, on this one, which simply has panel and menu options. So you can, um, this is the one that, um, uh, oh, is it uh, Makulu uses to kind of mirror the uh, Windows 10 looking theme. Um, so they use a, a custom cinnamon menu to do that. And so you have the ability with the cinnamon menus to do a whole lot of more customizable things. The default will look similar, not the same, but similar. Um, you'll see some of the differences here is um, we'll have all of these icons down here, which are nice to have handy. We can still add your favorites over here. We have a search bar at the top, all applications. And then there's a lot of other things that you can do with the system. Looks like we're actually out of software rendering mode. I'm, I'm seeing transparency into the menu that I would not see if I were not. So, um, But regardless, uh, this is Debian. So I showed you the three different clips here. This is the same exact operating system, same user account, just three different desktop operating systems. If you want to know how to change between the desktop operating systems, refer to the previous Debian video. I went a whole lot more into what the Debian 9 looks like there. I really just wanted to do this very brief follow-up video just to say that yes, it does work. Um, it didn't. It was not working for me on that, uh, on that last video. In fact, it, it caught me off guard because it was working just fine as I was testing it. And then I ran, I installed the, the guest editions and I didn't preview all my test stuff before and I think that that's what it what did it is if you're running it on a virtual box with multiple different desktop environments then installing the guest edition seemed to mess up particularly messed up the KDE install the cinnamon install was running very sluggish uh, especially compared to how it's running now it's running great right now um, but Mate worked just fine on, under that if, if you saw um, but this here I mean you can see that all of the same programs, all of the same everything. So what I would do with this now is, uh, now that everything's on here, is I might just go into, um, I might even be able to do this pretty quick on Cinnamon because Cinnamon gives you the option right here to, uh, oh, it used to, maybe it doesn't, maybe it's just the desktop environment. On, on my Linux Mint Cinnamon, I can right click and actually uninstall a package directly from the menu. Uh, maybe that's uh, maybe that's something that is exclusive to Linux Mint, or maybe it's something that was in an older version of Cinnamon. I'm not sure. Uh, but regardless, um, actually, let me see. Let me check if you can do it over here. You know, for those people that say, "Oh, you know what you're doing." No, I mean this is just not something you do every day. <laughs> you know, it's, just doesn't come to the normal thing to come in here and and uh, want to install install or uninstall something. So. I'm just looking for KDE Connect. Um, no. So, yeah, you used to actually be able to uninstall something directly from the menu. I don't know if it's because we are not in Linux Mint Cinnamon or if it's because a uh, newer version of Cinnamon doesn't allow you to do that. But, um, I don't know, I'd have to have to check that out. Uh, but regardless, what I would do here is I would start coming coming in here and just uninstalling some applications that I would not want to use just to free up some space. You know, there is a lot on here. And uh, the reason there are so many applications on here, Debian itself is not this bloated with applications. What happens is each one of the desktop environments comes with its own utilities, tools, and default applications. 
And so installing three different desktop environments uh, without choosing which exact which packages install because I did this to the graphic installer, it just installed all the defaults for all of them. So I just ended up with a giant mess of applications. Uh, but it's nice because I can look at what I have. Uh, for example, it looks like I have a few different options to play sound and then I can decide which one do I want to keep or do I want to keep none of them. You know, I might install either Banshee or uh, Clementine on this, which those two seem to be my favorite um, uh, music, basic default music players right now. I like VLC more for video. Um, however, if I have the basic uh, video app that comes with Linux Mint like we have here, this is actually very good, very lightweight uh, application for doing videos a lot. Uh, for, to me, it runs a lot smoother than VLC. Um, but regardless, uh, that's kind of what we have. So um, I just wanted to show you here that Debian 9 does indeed work very, very well. Um, uh, you just have to install it on its own disk. It doesn't seem to like the virtual box with the guest editions uh, with multiple different desktop environments on the same user account. Mm, yeah. Hey, Linux has to have its limits, right? Linux has to have its limits. It's, we, we found it on the virtual box. Um, but here on... Um, here on this hard disk, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this around or not. I'm 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 just not completely sure. Um, I still have uh, I still have my Linux Mint Cinnamon running or uh, Linux Mint KDE running over here, which I've been thinking about swapping out at least for a while. And who knows? Maybe I'll run this for uh, for a month or so month or so and see what I think of it. Um, well, anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Um, just a real quick short video. Um, just uh, if you're following the channel and following the updates and stuff, uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, well, probably watching this Wednesday, but Wednesday I plan on doing about a 7 o'clock live focusing on one article in depth. And uh, Thursday uh, we're going to back to the GIMP tutorials. And if I get the chance, I'm going to try and set up a WordPress tutorial. Um, it really depends. I have a ton of different projects I'm working on. And um, I really want to get those uh, WordPress tutorials out there as well. But I'm focusing on the GIMP tutorials and the WordPress tutorials. So leave me comments in those particular videos as to the things you'd like to see. Or right in this video here, leave me the comments of what you'd like to see. Um, Friday, I will be out of town. And so I'm thinking Friday, I still want to do, do a news. And so... I'm not sure if I'm going to either do live news around noonish Eastern time, or I might do just a pre-recorded and, and release it around seven or eight o'clock or so. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with news. And then Saturday I'll be out of town. I will attempt to do a video. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, uh, that is just a brief channel update and, um, let me know what other distros. I know I have a pile of distros on my wall over here that people have asked to, to do. I really just wanted to, to get back into here and just not leave my, my viewers hanging that, yes, Debian 9 does work um, very well. And I might even, you know, I, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to run off of this computer for, uh, for a few weeks and, and see what I think of it. I'm going to run it in place of my um, KDE computer for, uh, for just some basic, um, basic media stuff. So uh, with that, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.